Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you guys a couple of mistakes that I see often with the hip thrust. And I'm gonna show you with a body weight hip thrust and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to perfect your hip thrust. All right, so I'm in my living room and I've got a sort of like couch, I call it a poof, um, but it's basically like an ottoman and um, it's a perfect height for me. You don't want your um, couch or your chair or your bench to be too high. So I see this a lot in the gym where a lot of women are using um, boxes or um, steps that are just too high or benches that are too high. So you want it to be about knee height. So for me, that's pretty much a little bit lower than knee height, which I actually find it much better. Um, so around 12 inches is the perfect height. Um, so again, it depends on how tall you are, but generally 12 inches is a good start. So this is what I'm going to use today to show you the hip thrust mistakes that I see a lot in the gym. So the first thing that I see happening a lot is a bad setup. So <clears throat> what happens is, is that you set up too high on your shoulder blades. So you're literally like falling off and you're sliding off constantly. So you're not set up, you're not secure. So you're constantly shuffling around too much. So first things first is get your setup correct. So you want to be nicely wedged in between your shoulder blades. So mid back is where you want to be on the side of the bench. So get yourself nicely wedged. So your shoulder blades are digging into the bench and that is nice and secure, ready for your hip thrust. Next setup tip is I see a lot of women with either feet too far apart and too far away from the bench, okay? So they're all the way out too far away. And then I also see women getting really close where their toes and their feet are really close to their butt. And what happens is, is that they'll do the hip thrust and they're getting onto their toes, right? So we don't wanna be doing this. So where do our feet go? Our feet should be hip width or slightly wider than the hips. Toes turned out kind of like a squat. Your heel should be parallel to your knees so that when you come up, it's right direct underneath your foot. Your knees are not directly underneath your feet. So that is where you want to be to get a really good setup with your feet. Now, next thing that I see a lot is the head. So I see a lot of women either looking up or looking around or kind of moving their head all the way up and down with their body. So they kind of either do this, looking up, and that puts a lot of strain on the lower back, or they're constantly turning around, maybe to look at themselves in the mirror. Or I also see women kind of doing this, their head is kind of fixed in that position and they're kind of looking up sort of straight, but not really. And that also puts a lot of stress on the spine. So where do you look? What do you do with your head? We want to always keep our head in neutral spine comfortable. <clears throat> so where would you be looking? You'd be looking straight through almost as if you're looking to your knees. So nice and comfortable. That is where you're looking straight ahead, chin tuck down. Okay. Another mistake that I see a lot of women making is that they flare their ribs out, okay? So that actually takes the glutes out of this completely and takes on your lower back. So we wanna fix that by simply tucking the ribs down, okay? So this is what it looks like. All the ribs flaring out, okay? We wanna actually tuck our ribs under. So this is flared, this is tucked. You see immediately my hips kind of go into a posterior kind of tilt. This is anterior, this is posterior. We want posterior tilt in the hip thrust. 
slightly. So that is where we want to be so that when, our, uh, when we do our hip thrust, we are using glutes only and not our ribs and lower back, which also puts a lot of pressure on your neck. So that's another mistake that I see. So ribs should be tucked under. So let's get a good hip thrust going right here. So first things first, I'm set up on my uh, bench or on my poof, <laughs> nice mid back, chin tucked under, looking forward, my heels underneath my knee, uh, knees, yeah, heels underneath my knees, feet about hip width or slightly outside of the hips with um, my toes turned out, and from here, my ribs are tucked under, and then I do my hip thrust. So it's flexing at the hips, squeezing my glutes, and as I come up, I'm almost like a tabletop, straight all the way from head to knees. Boom. 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 That is the hip thrust. So if you want to perfect your hip thrust, guys, make sure that you avoid those mistakes and fix it from now so you can start seeing some booty gains. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.